Namaste. This is Pawan Devarkanda talking about Oracle Data Integrator. In this session, I'm going to talk about Oracle Data Integrator, which is the best extract load transforming tool for the data warehousing and integrations made very simple. The overall today's content is what we are going to learn here. What is Oracle Data Integrator? How it is going to work? What are the benefits we can get it from the Oracle Data Integrator? The applications of ODI. The difference between the ETL versus ELT. These are the two different processes which we want to explore more in detail. And also try to understand how the Oracle Data Integrator component architecture, how implementation, how it is going to help us to do the integration processes. Let's move on. What is Oracle Data Integrator and how it is going to work? Oracle Data Integrator, ODI, it's a sh short form, which is nothing but an ETL tool or ELT tool. The legacy process or pre traditional process, ETL is nothing but extract, transform, and load. Extract, load, and then transform is the new approach, new trend, which is present in the Oracle Data Integrator which is a cluster based high availability and where you are going to have the efficient data integration capabilities inside oracle previously it was having its own oracle warehouse builder tool and earlier it was oracle acquired sun opcs which is data integrator tool and combinedly created a new tool called ODI, Oracle Data Integrator. Usually ODI will be installed on any machine where the database or data warehouse is targeted or where you're going to have huge data. So data where you're going to collect, that is a database. And if you want to make that source and target, uh, you want to work on different uh, systems, you want to extract from different multiple systems, then this is a, one of the best tool. Oracle Data Integrator is actually works between the source and the target. It is going to work between the multiple sources, which is going to work on the target side. So the most benefits which you are going to get from the Oracle Data Integrator, ODI can work with a different source. You can have the databases like MySQL. You can have the database from the Oracle database, or you can go with the go with the open source data or OLTP servers. And also, it supports the files with the even Excel uh, CSV files as well. Data can be transformed based, and it can uh, it takes place on on your target database server itself. Structured query language, and you can work with the simple scripts sql scripts or plsql scripts odi if you want to work the prerequisite is sql plsql oracle data offers transparency in whatever you are going to work it is going to be easy and developer can easily debug where it is happening what kind of data it is modeled where it is moving what is target having so everything will be clear transparent the target servers are leveraged no additional services needed you don't need any extra the applications need to be run or no other servers need to be run if you compare with the any other etl tools you need another machine you need another space another infrastructure is required whereas odi doesn't require it also has supports a simple code templates which will be reusable. You can use again and again to create some logic to transform the data. Again, you want to bring it or load to the target. The process will be simplified using the templates. The data transformation logic, the strategies that is captured as a knowledge base modules. So knowledge models will be stored into the ODI system. Maintains that one and it will be reusable. Where can I use this ODI integration processes? Oracle data integrations can be used in several projects, such as it is going to work with the, any conventional data integrations, any data which you are going to connect. Business intelligence systems, OBI, OBI or OAS currently Oracle, analytics servers, 
are going to work with the ODI. There is a modernization in initiatives which are happening for business projects where you can use this ODI tool. ODI is also helpful when you're going to work on the data migration. You can uh, transform from one project to another project. It consolidates the data. And it is also one of the best SOA suit initiatives. Wherever the SOA suit is running, there is a lot of data, database centric data the initiatives will be there. So that initiatives will be taken care by ODI. Requirement, some of the projects, they are going to use the master data maintained. So master data management is very simple uh, when you're going to use the ODI in the project. So these are the basic requirements. These are the best benefits where you can use the ODI. So when you're working with a OBI and Oracle SOA suite, that is our best uh, integration process, which you can get it from the ODI. So playing with the data, there are two different approaches, ETL and ELD. ETL, extract, transform, and load. Extract, load, and transform is a new approach. The older data warehousing, data mining, they were using the extract, transform, loading. First, extract the data in place, and then you're going to use the ETL engine in a separate machine. There it is going to stage, and whenever it is stored, stored the data, after that, it is going to transform. Then it is going to load the transformed data to the target machine. So if you compare, if you want to check with the Oracle data integrator, who are the competitors? Informatica, Data Stage, Bots, Talent, Pentaho, and uh, Abinitio. These are open source uh, tools. And Microsoft SSIS. These are the tools which are integration process, uh, integrations with the RDBMS tools. ETL will always require a separate machine, whereas uh, ELT doesn't require a separate machine or a separate infrastructure is not required. Looking into more deeper, what is uh, ETL and what is ELT? The picture says that in the top, you can see there are multiple data sources which are connected with a process that is the ETL engine, which is, which is going to process the data transform the data as per the requirements of the project it may be a simple example if you are going to query select star from emp and you are going to use a department data that both are integrated or used some join and it is going to produce a combined data combined table that data is required to store or load into the target machine so that could be processed in the middle so to do that one, Informatica and other systems, they are going to first load EMP table, then load the DPT table. After joining, then the data will be loaded to the target machine. Whereas in our Oracle data integrator, extract load will be done from the source side. The source side, you are going to do extract. The transformation is done on the target system the process will be done on the target system so the merging or joining or whatever the complex business requirements what we have that will be processed at the target system so it will be uh, not taking any new machine or it doesn't require anything to execute this one let us see what are the benefits we are going to get from that etl versus elt so etl if you are going to see extract time is dependent because the system is another machine where the databases are set of machines that where the engine is running the informatic engine or data stage engine is running so that machine requires a separate hard disk separate uh, network and it communicate from the source system to the target system both should be the frequency of data then only you can do that transfer so it is depends on the internet and this space what we have on your system. So more data transformation is there, then more time will be consumed by the ETL. Whereas in ELT side, all at one system, so load only once. One time you're going to load and do the transformation. There is no time, no extra time will be consumed. Speed is not dependent on the size. How much size you are going to transform? It doesn't depends. Uh, it, it doesn't make any 
anything on the any impact on the speed of that extraction less space initially it is going to take less space when we are first time we are going to use it is a new system freshly separate mission that's why it is going to take the less space and it is it will be very clean to look but whereas in this uh, ELD system it requires a little bit expertization to do the system design in-depth knowledge on the databases queries transformation then you can design this ELT system ELT process the multiple scripts where we can design where we can run in the separate system that is going to take multiple conversions different data sources you want to convert if you are going to take the informatica you have to take the the data which is coming from the oracle database it will be converted into informatica data types then it is do the process the script will be created views will be created then it is going to load the data whereas on the eld side you are just creating ad hoc views that is very simple you don't need much uh, time effort for that one whereas uh, etl side data lake uh, not supported so you cannot merge two things at a time that means the file which is coming the flat file data and the data which is coming from the databases like oracle database or rdbms data you cannot merge together whereas in elt unstructured data is supported and you can merge any kind of data you can create so this elt and etl if you compare there is there is a specific user specific usage only it people who are trained those people can work on etl whereas elt it is very simple the end users whoever the managers are non it people also can use this one because the system which requires a separate system a huge database a disk space is required whenever it is going to get that extracted data and it is going to host on the middle system etl system engine where it is running and again then it is going to transfer the data to the target machine again network is required so etl is costlier whereas elt is cheaper and one more benefit you can get it from the elt that is scalable at any time you can increase the number of services number of processes you can use the cluster and you can expand this one so business is growing then you can increase the number of servers on uh, odi servers to extract to work with the elt process that is very simple you can make it expansion because it is a cluster based system the odi component architecture oracle data integrator it is specific to fusion middleware infrastructure so we are going to get the desktop or oracle uh, odi client side system looks like this it is going to work with the uh, different processes odi studio is a tool which is available it will run on the desktop systems like uh, linux desktop or in windows desktop it is going to have four different tools designer operator topology security so these are all integrated these are all connected with the odi sdk which is running uh, which will run on the desktop system if you look at this uh, system setup the pre uh, requirements to run the odi we must have a rco odi rco oracle specific uh, there is a master and worker and remaining all uh, same uh, common repositories which uh, we are going to use for any soa or any other middleware technologies web logic server content that is a jde server agent which is going to run so here uh, we are going to see the different controls or uh, containers so enterprise manager it is going to have the management pack of odi and fusion middleware console which contains the odi plugin to that one, which actually internally connects or it is going to have the two different containers servlet container and web service container the servlet container contains odi sdk which runs the java applications gateway jvm and odi console it is going to give and je agent that will be 
working as a java enterprise edition agent to work with the web services public web service and data service so which is actually internally connected with the number of connection pools that depends on the how much data you are going to connect different data sources or different targets sources and targets which are based on the legacy systems or file systems xmls or dbms or dbms applications or data warehouse ppm systems so this is a overall odi component architecture so hope you understand uh, if you have any queries questions please do comment and subscribe jai hind